I've just picked up this parcel from the post office and as there's been a, a bit of interest and questions around getting external keyboards for the <laughs> ST and TT series of computers I thought I would show the Eiffel board as made by Frank Lucas um, that I've received today um, as you can see there it's got the external connector um, RJ11 I believe they're called, just in the middle there, plus the two PS2 connectors, one for a keyboard and one for a mouse, as well as your traditional uh, DB9 plugs for um, mouse and joystick as well. Um, one feature I wasn't uh, particularly interested in, but given it's an uh, included feature, was also the inclusion of a LCD display here, which can, um, I guess with the included software there, do things such as display mp3 tracks or music tracks that are playing um, possibly not mp3 if the Ataris aren't up to it um, but also temp temperature readouts and that sort of thing um, luckily enough from years of computer junk hoarding I happen to have a pile of PS2 keyboards sitting there so I'll be trying those out and um, we'll see how it goes well, this device has proven to be plug and play after just hooking up the keyboard connected to the adapter, the Eiffel adapter uh, I used one of the on hand PS2 keyboards I had simply plugs in there, purple plug and the only PS2 um, device I had uh, was the Microsoft trackball which as you'll see shortly works quite well so I just powered up the TT See the display by default shows date, time, and temperature. You might have seen the activity lights flash up there briefly. I'm not sure what they represent. I'm sure it's in the manual. Wouldn't skip this, but in doing so, we're showing the first proven example that it works I've got XBoot as the default boot manager um, as you can see there um, to very briefly show the rest of my desk here um, I'm pretty squeezed for, for real estate so basically having that trackball there is not a bad addition um, compared to the space I'd need for a mouse. So it's responding accordingly. Um, let's jump into magic. It seems to map to the second button at the bottom there. The left press. There you go. Okay, looking back at the uh, LED display, it seems to um, be the keyboard clock, uh, which is um, certainly not the system uh, date time anyway. And here we are again, responding to uh, movements on the trackball. Um, Jump into a utility just to see, or an app. Obviously there's more keys on a IBM PS2 keyboard than there are on a uh, standard ST keyboard, so I'm sure there's some custom mappings put aside. Oh, this happens to be one of them I'm guessing. Windows key, magic, 
and she flipped between apps. Not bad. Uh, the menu key. Does nothing. Okay, um, you'll probably note that there was a uh, scrolling wheel here. I believe this should work as well. So let's give that a try in the window. Yep. Not a bad way for going through um, lengthy contents. There we go. Hope you liked the demonstration.